After playing Minecraft for 10 hours straight, I didn't think about what it would be like if Steve existed in our world. I thought about why the birds are chirping, although regardless, since this definitely isn't an oversaturated topic which has been covered in depth by many others already, let's take a look into the fundamentals of Steve and see what he would be like if he existed in the real world. Let's take a look at two cases, the dynamic and static case for Steve. The dynamic case for Steve is as follows. Considering that the most apparent thing about Steve is likely his ability to carry blocks. Now, what isn't interesting is how he can carry blocks. Any two-year-old can do that. Rather, what's more interesting is how Steve can carry a lot of blocks. Since Steve can carry a large number of blocks, this must mean his total mass is his body's mass plus the mass of the blocks he's carrying. Aside from the finite number of blocks, what's even more interesting is if we bring in shulker boxes. If we assume that shulker boxes keep all mass and do not shift the mass into another dimension and thus the shulker boxes wouldn't weigh anything, assuming Steve would be able to carry infinite amounts of shulker boxes by nesting shulker boxes into each other, his mass would directly relate to how many shulker boxes he is carrying plus his own mass. Or more specifically, defined by the equation T of M equals mass of Steve plus S of M, where mass of Steve is the mass of Steve when he's not trying to carry anything, shocker, and S of M is a function of the iterations of the shulker boxes, which is equal to S of M equals mass of a shulker box times 36 times 27 raised to the M. Knowing this, the mass of Steve is directly proportional to how many shulker boxes he can carry. Considering that the mass of shulker boxes is conserved and can affect Steve, the function s of m would apply. Knowing the mass function, we can find the function of force where force is a function of mass and f equals ma. And we know m to be t of m, f of m equals t of m times a. Since Steve generally moves at the same speed, regardless of what he's carrying, this must mean that the friction on Steve increases proportional to the normal force. This means Steve cannot apply a force greater than the force of friction, but instead a maximum force equal to the force of friction which keeps him at a constant speed of 5.6 blocks per second, or from the more superior Minecraft units to scientific international units, 5.6 meters a second. Unknown to us what Steve's acceleration is, we know that the force he applies to move forward must be equal to the force of friction. Force of friction must be less than or equal to mu fn, where mu is the coefficient of friction and fn is the normal force, which is equal to fn equals mg equals t of m times g. Thus, the max force Steve must apply to move himself is f of m equals mu t of m times g. Since we have the function of mass as iterations of shulker boxes, we can convert this equation to have a variable with respect to time, which would then imply since force is equivalent to the derivative of a momentum with respect to time. We can integrate force over time to get the momentum p of t equals the integral of f of m dt, which gives us that the momentum is a function of the iterations, which is the function p of t equals mu times g parentheses m0 times t plus m1 times 36 times 27 raised to the x divided by ln27, which is the momentum per unit time. With this, we can also find the energy of Steve as kinetic energy is just Ke equals momentum times velocity divided by 2, and velocity is constant. With this, we can finally find a function for Steve's power, which would have to be the derivative of energy with respect to time, or power equals dE divided by dt. Knowing that the velocity and 2 are constants, we can take them out of the derivative. Subsequently, since we know the derivative of momentum is just the force function, we get that power is equal to a function of the iterations, which is equal to power equals fm times velocity divided by 2. Knowing Steve has a volume of around 1408 pixels raised to the third, as found per Google, this comes out to around 0.34375 meters cubed when converted to standard SI units. Since density is just mass divided by volume, where m is mass and v is volume, and the volume is 0.34375 meters cubed, the density of a black hole is around 2.9 times 10 raised to 9 kilograms per meter cubed. And when we multiply this volume, we can find the mass of a Steve-sized black hole of around 996,875,000 kilograms. And solving for iterations, we get that Steve's shulker box iterations would have to be m equals ln 996,875,000 minus the mass of Steve divided by 36 times the mass of a shulker box divided by ln 27 to create a black hole. If this was a little too confusing, let's take a look at the static case. Say that Steve was unable to carry infinite shulker boxes, or even that each shulker box's mass was not conserved and was instead transported to a different dimension entirely, 
This is no problem for us, since we can get the upper bound for Steve's power, energy, and maximum punch force using the previously derived equations. Since we know the force Steve is running with to be a function of the force of friction, which is subsequently a function of the normal force, we then get that the force Steve must use to counteract the force of friction is F of M equals mu times mass times G, and thus that M is just Steve's mass plus whatever he's carrying. Knowing that Steve can carry whatever item he wants and that each block in Minecraft has a volume of 1 meter cubed, we can find the densest object, multiply it by 64, then multiply it by 36 which should give us the total mass of what Steve is carrying. Through a quick Google search, we find the densest object in Minecraft is gold, which has a density of 19,300 kilograms per cubic meter. Multiplying out 64 times 36 times 19,300 kilograms, we have that Steve can carry a maximum of 44,467,200 kilograms of mass. Now, if we assume Minecraft gravity to be around 10.5 meters per second for bedrock addition, which was the version I was using when calculating for acceleration, although results may vary across game modes and versions, we can take the normal force on Steve to be around 466,906,600 newtons. And now if we multiply it by the force of friction, we have a force of friction which is simultaneously the max force that Steve applies to move. If we assume the coefficient of friction to be 0.72, we get that Steve applies a force to move forward of around 336,172,032 newtons at max. If momentum is just P equals MV, where M is mass and V is velocity, this would mean that Steve's momentum in the constant case is around 249,016,320 newton time seconds. A single punch of Steve's considering the speed and a contact time of just 0.03 seconds on the low end. We get that a single one of Steve's punches must deal around 8.3 times 10 raised to the ninth newtons of force. Considering kinetic energy to be momentum times velocity divided by 2, we get that Steve's kinetic energy while he's running should be 697,245,696 joules, and his power will be force times Steve's velocity, which comes out to a force applied of around 466,906,600 newtons multiplied by 5.6 meters per second which gives us a power of around 2.6 times 10 raised to the ninth joules. And remember, this is all for the constant case of Steve's mass, where he does not increase, but rather where he keeps his mass at 44 million kilograms. If we come back to the non-constant case, where we furthermore assume that the mass of shulker boxes are conserved and affect Steve's normal force, the functions for force, power, momentum, and kinetic energy all approach infinity, assuming there are infinite materials to craft infinite shulker boxes. Otherwise, the limit would be dependent on the amount of shulker boxes which can be crafted from a Minecraft survival world. With all this considered, I hope you enjoyed watching as we took a deep look into Steve's physics and the different equations which govern the forces and energy Steve can apply, considering the changing and constant mass situations of Steve's world. Yeah!